Daniel stood in the lion's den, but he wasn't the least afraid. Cause God had closed a lion's mouth, he answered when Daniel prayed. But I think he heard those lions growls from the mouths that God closed tight. For they looked at him with their hungry eyes, but they weren't allowed to bite. All night long they paced the den on their great big restless feet. For they were starved and the food was there, but they weren't allowed to eat. The saliva dripped from their hungry mouths and their stomachs hurt all night. And they looked at him with their hungry eyes, but they weren't allowed to bite. Daniel prayed in the lion's den. He prayed there all night through. And just as soon as it was light, the king came down there too. And Daniel cried, an angel closed the lion's mouth last night. So they looked at me with their hungry eyes, but they weren't allowed to bite. And the king was glad and the king rejoiced when he heard what Daniel said. And he ordered all those wicked men to be thrown in the den instead. Then the lions leaped and the lions roared, and it was an awful sight. For God had opened the lions' mouths, and they were allowed to bite. The Bible says that the time will come when I'll stand in the lion's den. This world will be the den I'm in, and the lions will all be men. And they'll try to destroy the children of God, they'll hunt for them day and night. They'll look at me with their hungry eyes, but they won't be allowed to bite. And I hope that the time will come when you stand in the den with me. And then we'll pray to Daniel's God and wait as patiently as Daniel did when God heard his prayer and sent an angel bright. To close a hungry lion's mouth so they weren't allowed to bite. La 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 la.